Hello everybody, my name is Owen and in this video I want to share a tip if you are detoxing and you're on a fruit diet or even a low fat uh, fruit based diet with little to no seeds basically with no seeds and little greens if you're doing a fruit cleanse like a grape cure or a watermelon fast or just a juicy fruit only fast with no avocados or nuts or seeds or durian because they all slow down detox enormously if you start to feel like pearly because of detox symptoms, which I have had experiencing lately, which can give me cravings and just make me feel pearly. And then I just feel, oh, shit, affect this. I don't want to feel bad. I'm going to eat something heavier. Like maybe, who knows? It could either be cooked food or it could be just like raw food recipe, which, which can be a slippery slope to fall back into if you have health goals of staying on a fruit-based uh, diet or a cleanse or a fast. So what I'd recommend extremely much so would be um what i love is to make a banana and date smoothie it's absolutely delicious especially when my recent my partner made with coconut water from the health store um in a carton so um it's not fresh and it's not exactly raw but it's, you know what i mean like people have herbal teas which aren't raw and like a lot of herbs are extracts which aren't raw and they still work wonders so you, you know unless you're extremely fixated on that don't do it but otherwise blend co uh, coconut water with bananas and dates maybe one banana a few dates oh my god it's off the charts succulent delicious oh my god it's really amazing and this is like gives you a lot of carbohydrates um it's thicker and denser than a juicy fruit like a watermelon or a melon or a date or not a date sorry a grape and it'll definitely help satiate and also like emotionally relieve you and slow down detox all at the same time so it's highly 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 recommend trying that and another thing if you're feeling just off probably try not to bed if you can and, and have this like little like smoothie either before or after probably before and um, but obviously don't stuff yourself and then go to bed but just have some and it should be very light and your digestive system should be very like empty if you're just on a fruit only cleanse anyway so easy to digest easy to leave your stomach easy to go through so there were two tips, uh, eat more bananas and dates or banana date coconut um, smoothie. Um, it's coconut water, not coconut yellow meat because that's fatty and really slows down detox enormously. Any nut seeds, avocado or durian will slow down detox hugely, massively, enormously. Don't recommend that if you're on a cleanse. Like That's not the objective of a cleanse. You wait till you're after doing the cleanse to have some avocado if you really want it. Um, also, nut milk is slow to detox enormously too, so avoid all that like high protein, high fatty stuff. Um, the last tip is enema. <whistles> Huge tip. The other day I was like definitely eliminating my, my, my intestines. I wish I had it done. From now on, when I'm doing a grape feast, a grape cure, whatever, anything like that, grape fast. It's really a grape cleanse because the fast is really when you're having no food. Um, but that's just like wording the fast. That's what it really literally is. So that's not accurate to call it a great fast or a watermelon fast. It's it's a feast or a cleanse. Um, but I don't mind if you call it a fast. I don't mind that at all, really. But just so you know. But enemas are God saver because if you're if you're detoxing and withdrawal and cleansing and eliminating too much acids, wastes, toxins, drugs, like all sorts of crap, and it's it's emptying into your colon too much, you're gonna feel shitty and lousy, and that's really hard if you have kids, which. You know i have or if you're working which it's hard to work and focus on responsibilities if you're feeling too lousy everybody so um that's pretty much what i would recommend yeah enemas a god saver highly recommend doing an enema day if you're doing a strong cleanse it's a god saver so everyone thanks for watching lots of love to you love and light peace and blessings to you um Stick with the fruitarian diet if that's what you're into, and that's what you want, at least for a given period of time. And um, for me, I feel it's the best diet for almost everybody in the world because we're frugivores, we're fruit eaters, just like the great apes. And um, they are my tips. So feel welcome to share this with any of your friends who are trying to lose weight, detoxify on a cleanse, juice feast, or 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 fast, or who are detoxing. And and as well, I'll leave links down below for like herbs for your kidney filtration herbs for your adrenals and even herbs for your like GI tract cleansing powders so it's very important to work on all of those and skin brushing I just did skin brushing the whole body and when I finish the bath or the shower I have a little cloth that fits over my hand and I really like give myself a good scrub you really want to get those pores clean so it's really 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 essential for anyone with like you know acne psoriasis any skin conditions conditions blemishes blotches red marks that is your third kidney and it means your kidneys and your other elimination channels aren't working properly. 
And finally, with dandruff, you absolutely want to like give that a really good clear all that wax, old skin, acids, and waste, and like waxy material out of those pores. Your your scalp is just like your skin, except it has hair growing on it. Unblock that, clean it well. It's worked wonders because I used to have a lot of dry skin. It's just old lymph, waste, and acids leaving your head. You want to make sure it's it's clean so it can keep leaving your head. And over time, it just look totally more. Go away. It's more. It's what happened to me. So I'm over the moon. So happy. No itchy, flaky scalp anymore. Uh, no shampoo needed, but I don't mind using shampoo. But what got rid of it? Um, obviously only like natural organic shampoo. But what got rid of it was just like hardly just cleaning it. <laughs> Same appearance, everyone. Did it was get like an itchy. <laughs> anyway, lots of love. Um, thanks for sharing, subscribing, and leave any questions below and let me know your tips and how you found these strategies. See you. Have a lovely, beautiful day.